Yo, what's going on guys, it's Anton here. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna create this uh, guest channel where when people first join the server, they're gonna have to type in a, you know, something like question mark or exclamation mark verify. And when they do that, the bot's going to assign them the role and it's gonna give them access to the entire server. Okay, so the way this works typically is you have a guest channel that only guests can see. So once the guest verifies himself, once they, you know, agree to the rules or whatever, uh, the bot itself is going to give them that role and they should not be able to see this guest channel Okay, and they will be able to see you know the general off-topic and information uh, Channel it basically it's pretty simple All you have to do is just create a couple categories and just create channels on them Okay, and the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna have to set up the permissions But before I do anything else, uh, we need to actually create a role uh, So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a role and this role is going to be, uh, it could be any name you want, but this is supposed to be the role that every single verified member has on the server. So you can name it member, you can name it, uh, you know, verified, you can name it uh, valid, or you can name it whatever you want. Okay, on my server, I have my general role is developers, if you want to take a look. So this is the role that every single user has. Okay, and it doesn't really, it doesn't have any permissions except for the most basic ones, such as sending messages. Okay, so we're going to create a role and we're going to call it, uh, let's just call this verified member. Okay, and you, again, you can call it whatever you want. Give it whatever color you want. So we're just going to give it a nice little orange color. And we'll create a couple more roles as well. And you can also look through the permissions just to make sure, uh, you know, what you want to have set up. And we'll just create a moderator role. Okay, and let's just give this a nice green color. And we'll create a bot role, which will go above verify member. And we'll leave that alone. Okay, uh, I'll worry about the bot permissions later. But what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and edit this channel. So this is the guest channel. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make it so that member, verified member, cannot see this channel. So let's just delete all of these. Uh, I mean, not delete. Let's just uh, set the permissions for all of these to they can't read messages. So they won't be able to see the channel. Okay. And I think that's really all we have to do. And we'll make it like this too. Okay. Now for everyone, uh, let's see. What we're going to do is for everyone, we'll probably just leave these alone for now. Okay. And let's go ahead and set up our permissions for the categories. Okay. So now this is a brand new server. I didn't want to use my old server because I had a bunch of permissions for every single one of my channel. And it would have been pretty tedious to go through all of them. Uh, so what I decided to do was I decided to just create a new one and I created three new categories. Okay. The nice thing about categories and creating new channels in them is that your categories permissions will sync across all of your channels that are in it. So for example, if I open up this category over here, okay. And actually, well, if, if I open up this channels permissions, you're going to see that it says permissions synced with information, which is the category. Likewise for announcements and rules information. You can override it, of course, but we're going to just go ahead and have all of our permissions sync. Okay, so the information part, uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and just create a new permission. And we're going to create it for the verified member. And verified member should be able to obviously see this channel, but we can actually just do this. We're going to go ahead and just set the permission to off so that the every so that everyone who joins won't have these permissions okay so we're just kind of like disabling everything okay but realistically though you don't necessarily have to disable everything the only thing that you have to disable is read text channels and see voice channels likewise you can also disable send messages but i'm pretty sure by default if you just disable this they won't be able to see the channel which is more than enough okay and uh okay that should be fine and if we have this role they should be able to see it and you can see and if we actually zoom in a little bit, you can see that there's this little uh, lock icon on the top right of the of the pound symbol of the channel, which means that the channel itself is a private channel. OK, so only certain people can actually see the channel. Cool. Uh, let me actually join this server real quick. OK, so you can see that I can see this channel, but I can't see the information channel. Right? I can only see general and off topic. So we're going to go ahead and fix that. And so let's go ahead and do edit category. Let's do the same thing. So we're going to do a uh, verified member. So we'll just disable this. Okay. And you can see, I can't see that now. 
Now let's do the same thing for off topic. We're gonna go ahead and give it the, I'm gonna disable that. Okay, cool. So now on this uh, server, I can only see the guest channel. Okay, now if I give the permission to my other account, you're gonna see that he can he cannot see the guest channel anymore. Okay, but he can't see the other channels as well. So let's go ahead and just give the permissions for that again. So for permissions, we'll do verify member. We have to save changes for that. Okay, there you go. We can see it. All right, and likewise, let's go over here. Let's give permissions for this. So we should be able to type in these channels, but we can't type in these channels because we actually disabled um, sending messages in there, but we can type in these. But we have the verified member role, which is why we can actually see this channel. Likewise, if we give permissions for off topic for verified member, we can let them, or we can actually leave that alone. Okay, great. And again, we can, we can type in all these channels. We just can't type in this one. Oh, actually we could, wait a minute, did I? Oh wait, that's my main account, okay. Over here we can see that we can't type in these, but we can type in these other channels. Okay, and obviously if I go over here, you can see that for verified member, I, or for everyone in general, I have it disabled for here. Okay, okay, that's great. All right, so now uh, I think we have our channels set up. Okay, and likewise, the same thing, if you had voice channels as well and you didn't want guests to join, all you would have to do is just disable the, let's see. Well, they won't be able to see the voice channel, so that'll be okay. Okay, that should be fine. Okay, great. The next thing that we have to do is get our Discord bot on our server. So I guess I'll just get that real quick. So I'll be right back. All right, so we have the bot on the server now. So what's next is we actually have to start writing code for the bot. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my terminal. And I'm just gonna create, uh, let's see, what do we do here? Um, I'm just gonna create this inside my, uh, let's see, Discord JS YouTube tutorials directory. So I'm going to create a directory called verification bot. I'm going to open up Visual Studio Code. So you can just create the directory and just go to Visual Studio Code and just open up the folder. But you can see over here we have verification bot opened up. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Let's run npm init hyphen y so we get the package.json file we're going to install discord.js we're going to install .env and that should be good enough so while that's happening we're going to go ahead and create a source folder i'm going to create a .env file for our environment variable and we're going to create this bot underscore token environment variable and I'm going to go ahead and grab my bot token. So where is it over here? Let's just regenerate it. Okay. Just paste that in there. Right, inside the source folder, I'm going to create, whoops, bot.js file. And from here on, we're just going to go ahead and do the basics. So we're going to require the client class from the Discord JS module. Okay, and we're going to create a new instance of that client class. And I'm going to go ahead and call the login function, which is actually going to log the bot in. And we need to reference the bot underscore token environment variable, which is pointing to here. But before we even do anything else, we need to require the dot in the module, which is used for loading the environment variable. Okay. So we're going to have to call the config function on that. So that way all of our variables will be loaded so we can actually reference them. Okay, cool. All right. So I think from here, we're pretty much good to go. So I'm just going to listen to the ready events. And we're just going to say client.user.tag and log in. All right. So that's just a simple console log when the bot is ready. And to run our bot, we can just do node or node mod, depending on which one you have. Well, I mean, node obviously by default is 
the command install when you install node but if you want to install node mod it's really great for developing because every single time you save it'll restart the process for you so we can do node mod source bot.js and if you want to install node mod it's the same way how you install any npm package you just do node npm install node mod okay cool and we're going to go inside the client on message event now because what we need to do is we need to listen to the message event and we have to see if the person types the correct command the you know verify command or whatever command you want and we want to make sure that it's in the correct channel which is why i went and got the idea of the channel okay and in order to do that you have to enable developer tools which is in user settings so the first thing i'm going to do is i'll ignore the bot messages so if message.author.bot, so the bot is a boolean, so if that's true, that means the message was sent by bot, we're going to return. And we're going to just do a simple if message.content.to lowercase. And we're going to do equals 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 exclamation mark verify. So we're also going to do one more check. So we want to make sure that they're sending this exact message as well as sending the message in the correct channel. So we're going to do message dot channel dot id equals equals equals. And that's the idea of the guest channel. So if that's true, then that means they sent the verify command and they sent it in the channel with this ID, which is our guest channel. So if that's the case, then we're going to go ahead and just give them the, the role that we created earlier, which is the verify member role. Okay, and what we're going to do is uh, you can just get the ID of the role so you can get the object of it. Or you can just pass the name. So for example, uh, in order to add the role to the user or well, the member, actually, you have to get the member object of the user. So we're going to do const member uh, equals. Well, let's do actually let's do const role. We have to get the role first. We're going to const role equals message dot guild. The guild itself has the roles property and the roles is a role manager. And we're going to go ahead and reference the cache and we're going to get the role by its ID. And we're going to say if role, so if it's an actual existing role, okay, because you always want to make sure you're doing this check because the role might be deleted at some point, okay. So if the role actually exists, then we're going to go ahead and do uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn this into an async function and we're going to do. Uh, let's see, await role, uh, message dot member. So this is going to get you the guild member object of the of the person that sent the message. We're going to do roles dot add, and we're going to pass in the role object itself. Now this might throw an error because the bot might not have permissions. So if you're just going to catch it, try catch. Okay, and the only reason why this would throw an error is because uh, either the role is not found or um, the bot doesn't have permissions. Okay, so if the role was added successfully, uh, we're just going to go ahead and do a simple um, console log role added. Okay, and uh, I think that should be it. Okay, so when we give them this role over here, the verify member role, it's gonna give them access to the entire server. Okay, so right now our bot, uh, we're logged in right now, and obviously uh, we are on the server, but we just can't see the other messages. So if I do exclamation mark verify, it should have given me, oh, it didn't because we don't have permissions. You can see Discord API error missing access. Okay, so we need to make sure our bot has the role. So I'm gonna go ahead to roles, and I'm gonna go to bot, and we're going to go ahead and you want to make sure the bot actually has manage roles permission. That's the most important one that w that way it can actually give the role to the member. Okay. So let's try that again. Let's do this. And, uh, what's going on here? We're still missing access, huh? Uh, Oh, I didn't even give my bot the role. Let's do that real quick. Okay. The, this time it should work 100%. Okay, there we go. So notice how we have, uh, let's see. Well, we still were able to see that channel. But so let's actually do this. Mm, I'm going to go ahead and go back here. I'm going to go to, uh, let's see. 
I'm going to edit the permissions of this real quick because I don't want them to be able to do anything else after because I think that's a thing with the uh, the Discord client is even after the permissions were removed, you can actually still see the channel, I think. But we're going to go ahead and do this. Let's say for everyone, uh, this is the guest channel. So we're going to make it so that... Oh, no, verify member, sorry. Uh, we're going to make it so that... Um, let's just do that. Okay. All right, let's just remove the wolf from this guy again. Let's go back to square one. Try this out. Okay, so now we can't do anything else. Okay, and we have these. Um, you can see these channels, and obviously we can't type in these channels because they're the important channels. Okay, but we can type in general games, program, technology, and the uh, other off-topic channels. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. There's one more thing, a couple more things that I wanted to do. I want to make it so that it can, the bot will auto delete these messages. So what we're going to do is uh, once we, once they send that message, so if the message is correct, right, if they sent exclamation mark verify, if they uh, sent, the sent the message in the correct channel, we're just going to go ahead and um, do this. Uh, you want to make sure your bot has the uh, manage messages permission. So we're going to go over to roles and the bot itself. Let's just make sure. Uh, okay. So we actually need to add permissions to this channel because we already have permissions already for here. So we're going to go over bot and we're just going to do manage messages. And uh, that should be good enough. And roles over here. We'll do. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there shouldn't be any permissions for here. There we go. Let's do that. Okay, great. So what we're going to do is we want to make sure that we're cleaning up the channel so that way it doesn't get spam. So we're going to go ahead and just do, uh, let's see. So if the message was sent in, let's verify and it was in this, it was in this channel. Wait, message dot delete. And we're going to just auto delete it. And uh, that should be it. And of course, if they don't have permissions, we'll just catch this. We don't need to do another try catch. Okay, because we still want everything else to go to go on. All right. And uh, so now if we go ahead and if we. For me, if I send this the bot shall delete it. So that will clean up the channel. Uh, we also want to make it so that if they send any message in this channel, it will all delete it. So we're going to do if, uh, let's see, message channel.id equals equals equals. So this is going to be the guest channel, obviously. So um, uh, we're just going to do a simple await message.delete. There we go. We can actually just get rid of, uh, whoops, get rid of this. Cool. All right, and so now if I send any message in this channel, the bot shuttle will delete it. Okay, and likewise, if I send the, whoops, not this one. Let me just get rid of the roll real quick. This guy, uh, whoops, this guy. Let's go here. So now if I go here, if I type in the wrong messages, it's gonna auto delete it. Okay, but if I do verify, it's going to delete it, but it, it's also still gonna give us the roll. Okay, so again, this is a great way to kind of like, you know, uh, prevent your member, prevent like, you know, a bunch of guests just like mass joining and, uh, you know, just being able to get access to your channels. You can give them this kind of like gateway so that they have to, you know, type the exclamation mark verify. So that way they can actually get access to the server. Okay, and you can, there's a bunch of different things that you can do too. You can make it so that after five minutes or 10 minutes, they'll have access to the server or after, you know, three minutes. It's all up to you, but for that, you would need to use a set timeout function for that. But I think this is pretty straightforward. And obviously in the guest channel, you can have your rules or you can have a bunch of things listed over here. And then you can have it also listed in the rules of the channel as well. Likewise with announcements. And um, yeah, so I think that's pretty straightforward. Hopefully this video made sense and hopefully it was able to help you guys out. Um, and uh, yeah, so I think I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.